Hey Wig Hacker, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be talking about wig stands. There's so many out there. Which one do you like? Stay tuned. As you know, tools of the trade, your wig stand is always there with you. So there are I guess six types out there on the market that you can get. From good old cheap to good old cost you a good car payment. The first one I'm gonna go over is the actual plastic wig clamp. Most of the time, if you went to cosmetology school in the United States, you got this one. Uh, clamp it to the thing and you can add an extra extender to it. And this is normally the one that we can use. It's very portable. You can just throw in your bag and on the way. I do like these as you can interchange the tops for them. So you can just buy one cheaply to replace for the other ones. Personal favorite one is the plastic top, but it's on a stand. And the stand can actually go pretty high because I am taller. I do enjoy that one. Whenever I'm doing the wig, I can just stamp on that bottom and it will stay still. Um, and you can adjust the head whichever way you want it to go. Plastic, so you can interchange it. A little pro tip, if your wig head keeps spinning around because it doesn't have those little locks in it like the beauty school heads do, you can actually take some of your tape and you can wrap it around the top and it will give it a little grip. If your wig block is really like one to bite the dust and the it's falling off the bottom. You can come in and you can put two or three um, pieces of paper towel and then slam down the wig head on top of it and it should stay. Then we have um, the foldable ones, the collapsible ones, the, the, the portable. Um, and they kind of have the tripod to them. And once again, they work for their purposes. It's just whenever I do go away and talk at a conference and I have one, I always trip on stage with it. And I warn people in the beginning that I'm going to trip on it. And guess what? I do. So we have that issue as well. But they do have the, the flexibility of being light and portable that you can put into a suitcase. So if you like that one, that could work too. Another one is the Bossy wig stands, which are super phenomenal. They do cost an arm and a leg and shipping to get them over here, but you will have them forever. It is an investment into something that you will be doing. The head itself can go around and you can actually turn it so it locks the wig block in place. Does it work beautifully? Yes. Just a reminder, make sure you unscrew it so you can take your wig off. Otherwise, you're gonna be like me and try to take it off and you take it off the table. So make sure you know how that goes. They also make the same one in a standing version. So I have used this one as well. It is great if you're sitting down. <laughs> For me, I am tall, so it's just a little too short. I think they make an extender now, but it's just a little too short. And the bottom has the three pegs. I'm a klutz. I'm a natural blonde. I trip, I fall, I go over. That's why I like the round one. It just, it's flat. And then there are two different heads that Bossy makes. They make the gooseneck and they make the standard head. The gooseneck is made technically so that you can wash your wig in the sink. It will be for the standing one that you can put over the sink and it can actually bend down lower so you can actually wash the hair on the block properly. And then they have the regular one that you can just put on and work with. Those are the different types of wig block stands that you have out there. Uh, let me know which one is your favorite. I, I you know mine, you know, I'm going to tell you. Uh, so you know mine, but is it yours? I mean, I've used them all. Which one's your favorite? And if you want any more information on any of these things I've talked about, check some of the links below. They're going to be fun. Click, 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 click. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Please subscribe. Get all my things. I want you to have all the information so you can create the perfect wig for your perfect client. So till next time, uh, this was a fun one.